Hey, this is Nicolosi. Let's discuss new features in Mela 3.7. I have created a Mela MIDI preset that showcases some of what's possible with the latest version. At first glance, you see it has two lanes of modules. Notice only the first lane takes MIDI input. Since the second lane only generates CC messages to avoid duplicate notes, it's set to no input. Both lanes send their output to output 1. Output 1 is routed to the Mela synth input in this AUM session. On the first lane, I have a 6 note arpeggio going through the note echo module. I can now set the echo delay time in milliseconds. To do that, I set the sync parameters value to 3 and then adjust the delay amount. Similarly, I can set note length in milliseconds. At the end of the chain, I have the new LFO module inserted. Like the random module, with this module I can modulate any parameter. Here I have set the note length length parameter as a target. What's also cool is that I can make the LFO self-modulate. I'll set the offset parameter as a target and now we get an interesting LFO shape. Here we see the modulator signal dips below zero and then bounces back up very quickly. This effect can be reversed. Now let's look at the second lane. Here I have the control change module inserted and I have set the CC to the sustain pedal. When its value is 64 or above, most synths will sustain their envelope generators. I have wired up the value slider as a target to the random module. When the modulator signal is above zero, the notes are sustained, otherwise released. I have also set the note echoes delay parameter as a target to make things more interesting. You'll notice the random module is generating a tempo synced signal. We can easily switch back to Hertz by setting sync to free. That's all for now. For full details, check out the changelog. If you enjoy using Mela, please leave a review on the App Store. And for any questions or feedback, leave a comment below. See you next time.